Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Pyanodons. Niobium pain. Niobium plate. Oh, yeah, I just realized we got to do that hot brick crap again. Oh, I hope it goes better this time. <laughs> well, welcome back. All right. I didn't do anything off screen. Uh, I retooled a little bit. I got my inventory kind of squared away. Um, made some tanks. And yeah, just general retooling. Okay. So. We have drill heads. I don't think I set this up. I wanted to save some time and just call them in and get some niobium plate going. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do the drill head and uh, carry on here. Drill head. One stack. Aha, the magic light turns yellow. There we go. And here comes our little busy little LTN train. I'll add more trains to that yard. Um, I'm trying to think of a better yard situation. I'd like to put more trains in one yard, you know, not just four. So I do have an eight banger. Uh, I can modify to these smaller trains. I, I I was running one for one trains in my Angels Industry Overhaul playthrough that I did on my own. And I have that here that's this one that's the eight train deal uh the four train one you know you just shave it down so i could make this little a mini eight you know and it'd be all good so i'm thinking about implementing this uh throughout the the network there oh this is not supposed to be going wait a minute oh oh it's requesting a hundred um one stack oh yeah see the problem is that when you do the stack i want to do items well that's eh, it's just gonna have to be all right i'm just gonna send this train uh, we'll cut that off yeah i gotta figure that out when i if i don't want a partial stack you know i don't want whole stack like the lights you know is a 50 is a stack you know so i gotta figure that out um i just i want to get this night plate done before i start messing mucking about with other things here we go <laughs> say goodbye to all my steel and aluminium <laughs> titanium too this belt is gonna have a lot on it oh i'm trying something out here i don't know if this is gonna work I hope it does. Oh, I didn't put the inserters in. That's fine. Uh, we'll go here. And here. Yeah, it works. Nice. Now you'll be on. We got it. Da, 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 da. The first step in hell. <laughs> we did it. Oh, how did these stack? To, um, so they got five, five megajoules. Not bad. Oh, we get productivity now. We got 10%. I forgot about that. That's going to help our mining speeds. I think the the mod, it will take our mining prod in place, in play. I think it does. I, I hope it does. Um, so we'll see. Oh, it's going to get more now. Oh, it's on its way back already? Wait a minute. Oh. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Oh, yeah, it's going back. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to spin this up. And research. So I wanted to get that going. Um, let's see what we got here. This is a pipe one. I'll run that. This is a niobium. I haven't used the advanced niobium or uh, the advanced pipe stuff yet. Um, I really want to try it but i have to sit there and play with it you know and I, i'm just too busy with other stuff right now and i haven't really seen a need for it yet uh lab speed i'm not worried about okay here is a tin uh tin grade three we get the rejects okay uh there's the rejects there tin we got water and then we get tailings now tin grade four and a ball mill Borax graphite in tin dust and molten tin. I like the way it looks. That's cool. I like the color. Sand casting 50 plate. 
Uh, here is, what is this? Uh, wow, 10 grade four to plate. What is that about? Huh, this takes 10 dust. So it's like that copper one where we get the really low grade copper garbage. Um, it looks like we're just turning that into plate direct. So you have to spin it around and add it in and do a priority belt so that the grade four purges through, you know, and then we get the 63 with the hot air and all that. Okay. So we'll start that. Yeah. That's an interesting one there. Uh, not worried about that one right now. Okay. Let's go through this one. This is a Yolrix. Ulrix. Um, uh, Coral to make Ulrix comfortable and happy. Okay. They look like a kind of a lion with big arm legs. Oh, what's this? Why is there two? Um, or a Corral MK1. Or a Corral MK1. Is there... Maybe that's a glitch? Yeah, I don't know why there's two of them there. Poor alien sample or codex. Oh, horse DNA. Oh, it's a part horse. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Creature chamber. Uh, there's the codex. Uh, automation science pack gen. Okay. Oh, Ulrich food. Oops. Ash. Native flora tree seeds. Oh, we need mushrooms and flowers. Okay. So we're adding mushrooms and ash to this now. And then the uh, Ulrich food. It's in a tin can, I guess you could say, you know, because the tin. Oh, that's cool. I, I think I didn't, I realized that, but I didn't say anything about it. There's the caged one. There's the Ulrich. Oh, whoa, what's this? A cub. It's purple. Oh, cool. Uh, Ulrich MK1. Now, okay, that's the caged. Yeah. And then we got the pups. Oh, oh, they kick out manure. Okay. So in order to make a cub, oh, it consumes the, wait a minute now. It takes uh, the food, the uh, Ulrich MK1s, two, two of them. We get three cubs back and manure. So it doesn't give us the cubs back or the uh, main ones back unless there's something else here. Um, now here's the maturing, three to three. We get poop from that as well. So we're going to have to deal with... Oh, manure is coming out of this. Oh, okay. Hmm. Caged Ulrich. Oh, here's the rendering. All right. So bone... Oh, we get bone meal from this directly. Ooh, I like that. Okay. For the science, you know. Skin, lard, guts. We get the cage back and a brain. Blood. Okay. Well, that's really nice that we get, the, get that out of there. And then we get uh, manure. Oh. Interesting. We can make manure from water seeds, the uh, Relasia seeds, and Ulrich food direct. How do you, how does that work? Oh, uh, uh, you know what? It's made in Ulrich, Ulrich Corral. So we were feeding it water seeds and Ulrich food to get the manure. Okay, so this is a manure producer, similar to the Aug. So we feed them to, you know, we, we're just keeping them alive for their poop you know, in their little corral. Okay, so we got another manure producer plus all this other stuff. And a marrow producer, too. I like that. Okay, cool. That's pretty neat. I really enjoy the the alien uh, stuff that we're seeing. You know, the, all, the little variances and stuff. I think that's really cool. Uh, I'm not worried about military science, but let's take... Oh, we got that one queued. We got that one. Oh, what's this one? Oh, my gosh. Tufras. What is this thing? Unlocks Tufris, a custom GMO tuber. Okay, and we get a plantation. We could do all that. Um, poor alien sample. Oh, wow. Potato. Okay, we're making potatoes now. All right. Okay, that's the codex. Um, tufra codex. Okay. Tufra seeds. And then we get the tufra. Now... Yeah, let's see. Mutated Earth Alien GMO Potato. Oh, cool. Okay, so we'll have to see what we get out of, you know, what's the use of that. Um, there, oh, Coarse Faction. It requires Coarse Faction. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And we got, ooh, what's this stuff here? 
Yeldo, Ye Yedels, Yedels. Uh, concrete. Okay, we can do all that. And it says uh, a specialized cave to grow this organic fungus. Oh, cool. And we get uh, flavoroids. Seaweed and the Yedels gives us flavonoids. Flavonoids. Okay. Poor alien sample. Oh, and then we... Oh, look. So we have to use the spores, those two. Two of the three or whatever it is. Codex. Mushroom DNA. Moss gene sample. 1,000 water. Okay. First GMO fungus complex biochemistry in there. Tissues make them a great source of the important Adam 42 gene. Oh, wow. Uh, red wire in this one. Okay. And here's the spore collection that we get now, I think. I thought we already had that queued. Oh, here's the fungus substrate. Okay. And fertilizer. Wow. That's pretty crazy. All right, cool. Lots of alien stuff coming up, man. All right, cool. Let's get to cracking on this. Um... I'm kind of running the research. It's kind of good because we got this project and I can run the research and we can look at that. Ow, I hit my hand. <laughs> okay, let's get this going. Um, this is collecting a little bit there. I might, I'm thinking of going um, this way. Uh, so I can get rid of this crap here. I don't want to have it. Okay, that's a lot of ash. Okay, so let's grab this stuff. We got the tar over here. And, I, you know, again, you got to leave yourself a lot of room with this mod. And, you know, don't be afraid to do that. Um, I'm going to leave a little gap there. Okay, we'll get that. And then we got our carbolic... Uh, oh, this is the heavy oil stuff. Okay. I'm going to line it up. Kind of that one. Give ourselves some room. And pull that up. All right. Now, let's get our tar. Let's get tarred and feathered here. Let's pull the power over. Okay. Got our tar. And there is... Oh, wow. 31,000 tar in there. That's good. We'll burn it up. That's why you want to tank this stuff. You know, every time you spin something up like this, you got to at least have a tank to kind of make sure it's working. And you don't want to get rid of this because you're going to need it for the next phase here to spin it up. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now let's get... Oh, we'll get the steam in a second here, but we got to get this out of here now. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Okay. We'll do a single pipe like that. And then I put the power pole here for a reason, because then I can go in the middle. And I'm glad I gapped this out, because now we can do that. Kaboom. Okay, no middle oil yet. Now, this will be fun. Two, three, four. <laughs> All right, let's get the steam going here, now that we got these two connected. Okay, so this is 20, 45 steam a second. That's not too bad. And this, this isn't um, meant to be production value. Oh, I ran out of pipes. Isn't that great? Okay. Yeah, this isn't... We're not using this for, for production right now. Um, so, I'm not, uh, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah, great. Okay, here's some water here. We can maybe tap onto that one right there. Oh, gosh darn it. There. Water. Power. I'm going to use these. Okay. These take a while to spin up. There we go. We got the steam. 
Plenty of steam. Th these things are really good. These steam generators are really help. Really gonna help. Now we also have light oil coming out of here. Um, and anthracene oil, I think. Naphthalene. Okay, and then we have also um, pitch and anthracene. Anthracene, naphthalene. Yeah, we got all kinds of crazy stuff. So let's take a look here. Because we're going to need uh, the carb... Oh, we need naphthalene and carbolic. Okay, and that's out of this one here. Okay, let's let's get rid of this stuff here. It's getting in my way. Whoops. X. All right, trees be gone. Copy this. And it looks like we have to go... Oh, boy. What is going on with this? Okay, we got carbolic here um let's pop this down let's take a look at this thing because we got input here input here on this corner uh like that okay so this can line up but the problem is this is way up here or here no this one here so let's go ahead and Pop that one. I'm gonna do a um, four, three, two, and then let's get the stuff out of here that we're not gonna need. Oh, I don't need this one. Okay, good. Pull that out. Yeah, we got more than enough inputs here. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Um, uh, looks like the carbolic is up top there. So if I were to line up that one, let's see if we can get that to go right on in. There. Okay. Let's grab this thing. And this will get us the organic solvent that we need. Now, this is not too bad here. Because we could just do that. There we go. And, of course, power. Oops. There we go. Organic solvent. Nice. So I'm just a little bit concerned about the consistency, you know, of how this is going to run. Uh, I think we need some tanks here to start us off. And so I'm going to go... Far enough down here. Whoops. Okay. There. And let's go ahead and connect these together. And then we'll go off to the side here. I'm going to go all the way over. Okay, there we go. Carp. We got our uh, creosote. Pipe. Oh boy, I'm running out of pipe. We're running out of iron plate here. There we go. Pitch. No, not pitch. Yeah, pitch. All right, now we're cooking. So what I can do is off of here, I can do a 80% um, valve to a sink hole on these, but then train these up as well. Or do something with it here on site. Light oil. Oh, I need another tank. Uh -oh. It's not going to be good. Let's go. Let's copy this here. Pull this down. We're running. Never so slowly. Now it's backed up. Okay, good. Okay, I'll have to go get a tank and more iron, so we'll do that in a minute. All right, so that takes care of this aspect here. Now, um, we just have to do all this, and we're going to have more byproducts from this. Stone, gravel, and sand, and that'll be it for byproducts. Yeah, and there's more nitrogen, nitrogen usage there, which is good. 
Okay, and then we got to do the hot air. Oh, that salt's got to come from way over here. Um, so, yeah, it depends on, I think we're going to be out, maybe out to here or something. You know, like, and all I have is one of each of these machines, and that's for a reason. I don't want to have a, uh, I don't need a crap ton of this right now. Let's grab all these. And I think what I'll do, since we're going to have, like, maybe a, a train system down here for all this mess... I think what I'll do is I'll take this down here, and I think we'll be able to use uh, some of this stuff. Let's go out this way a little bit. There. Uh, some of the stuff we'll be able to use within our system here, because I think, um, like, the sand... Um, I thought that was used for something. No, I thought I, thought I was going to use the sand for something. I can't remember now. Okay. Let's get... We're going to have to power this up anyway. So, what I'll do... Yeah. Um, I'm just going to do a real simple hookup here. I could just um, actually do this. There we go. Now, yeah, this isn't really a, an expansion thing here. Uh, we got niobium powder okay there it is oh well I'm in boom okay we'll do this Just like that. That'll be easy. And then we just have to filter out from these here uh, the, the byproducts. This will be stone. Okay. Got all the machines moved over here so I can get them quicker. Okay, and this one here is going to kick out gravel. And then this one is sand. Okay. Wow, look at that. We're going to be able to go straight down through here. Maybe through... Uh, I don't know if I want to go through there, though. Well, we can. Yeah, I'll just do this temporarily. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of collect this here. Off screen, what I'm going to do, I'll square all this stuff away. You know, um, my plan, wow, is to have a, like, a collection area of all these byproducts. And then I can manage them easier from one area, you know. Um, and when it gets, when one area gets overwhelmed, you add another one and then you do a set, you set a train limit on your stops, which is really easy. Okay. Now, we need power for this thing. Uh, we'll bring it up from here. There we go. First processing of the niobium. I'm going to use this power pull here. And I'm going to have to do... I could move this down. There we go. Hey, we have another thing. There's stone. Hey, we have another thing. This is about the easiest thing we've done all in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh, 15 of those, huh? Oh, then we get 10 of the uh, niobium concentrate. There we go. Circle of life. There we go. Yeah, it's got to be slow going. Oh, wow. Twenty. Okay, cool. We'll do two. All right. Now, 
We take that Oh, we need the hydrogen chloride for this. Oh, that's good. Okay. Because I was a little concerned about the hydrogen chloride backing up on me on that process. Okay. So we've got... Um, let's go like this, I guess. Uh, pull this up. This is a cool little system. I'm really digging it. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Oh, grab these. And yeah, there we go. And now we pull over this thing. Uh, wait, what's this doing here? That's giving us the concentrate. Okay, the concentrate then gets dry. Um, nitro gets nitrogen and... Okay, so let's grab this. And we can go... Pretty much, well, we don't want to go right up close because we want to be able to bring our power pole over. Oh! Darn it. Let's, um, do this. That's fine, I think. I want to get the widest wire reach. Oh, you know what? That can't go there. Because we're going to be doing... Uh something different here let's grab that pop that in i love seeing just one machine in fact let's go ahead and pull this over here um i think i'll do i'll go here that's gonna give us uh the oxide now and then boom boom and then we'll do the hot air down here because we got lots of room okay good all right, now let's put... Oh, I might have to get pipe, so I might have to cut to get that. Uh, that's going up there. So we can do this. Let's not do that. Let's go over here. Oh. Oh, it's on the other side. That's here. Now, I guess I'll just have to go through here with the nitrogen. Um, that really sucks. Oh, and then the chlorine's down here, too. Well, this is awkward. Okay, I have to move these power poles here. Like that. Yikes. Yep, okay, I have to get <laughs> I have to call an iron train. Let's get this powered up here real quick. Okay. <clears throat> I just had an idea while I was crafting pipes there. I think what I'm gonna do is spread this out more. Um I'm gonna keep these together, but this I want to spread out. Um, and, <coughs> well, <coughs> let's get this connected here. Um, yeah, because I'm going to have to come down to here. Maybe it's okay. This is our chlorine there. This is just a fluid output. Uh, so if I give myself a little room here, you know, uh, oh, and I got to bring the nitrogen in as well. So that is another thing. Uh, oh, why do you have to be there? Okay, so maybe I'll do that so that I can come up from here Wait a minute. like that. Yeah, because, you know, we have two pipes side to side right now. Okay. There we go. All right, let's get this connected here. And there we go. We got the organic solvent in here now. Okay, let's get the chlorine going. I'm going to leave that there for now. Uh, yeah, let's get the... Or is it, what is this stuff? Hydrogen chloride. Yeah, let's get that in.
Kaboom. There we go. We got ourselves Niobium Complex. Alright, cool. Now for Nitrogen. Okay, nitrogen! Now we need power. And now we have the oxide. Oh, 10 of them at a time. Okay. The last machine. And then we need the heat. Okay. We'll go there. Ah! Research. I love that sound. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, we need salt for this, too. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, that salt will run. Now I gotta figure out why. It's backed up, ah, on the carbolic. 50 and 100. Why is it backed up on carbolic? Uh, so, oh, it's 20 and 100. So it's not consuming the carbolic as much. Oh, crap. That's the carbolic there. This might be another. I'll, I'll, I'm going to kick it over here for now. Um, yeah, I, it really is unfortunate. Wait, go there. Well, yeah. So, by putting these tanks down here, at least I can figure out what I'm going to do with it later. You know, until I get some plate. Because I really got to get the unloading and loading squared away. And having big tanks here, I can pull this stuff out with train easily. And also, you know, the byproducts here. I can do my junk train here. Uh, sand, I'm not sure if i can well i'm gonna have a bunch of trash trains running around i don't know how ltn handles um pick up based on not need because i'm gonna be providing something on a you know a trash pickup and but the requester is going to be always requesting so it's always going to have an error uh, i know you could suppress those um so, but this this thing is going to be popping up constantly, I'm afraid, down here because, you know, we're requesting those. And I don't want to do TSM for that, you know, because then I'm going to have to have a, re, uh, a train for each byproduct to bring it to a junk collecting uh, sorting facility, you know. Okay, all we need is hot air. And I'll get a, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll get these tanks here squared away. In fact, I, I'll call a lead train and I can do that right now, because the only thing I need is lead. And then uh, I'll get the... I ha I forgot about the heat stuff. I'm not really forgot about it, but it's going to be an involved thing. So I, I'll go get the materials for that, and we'll close it out with some niobium plate. Alrighty. Well, I'm back. I got retooled, and... Ooh. We have no light here. I went ahead and set up the train, the the coal dust train on the network here. So I have a T 
TSM stop there for that. And I had forgotten to, I must have pulled this case up or forgot to wire it up. Uh, so I did that, fixed that little bug. And we have 3,300 coal dust in here now. All right, change plans. I'm looking at the hot brick thing, and it's just a... Cr Oops. Um, it's just too much of a pain in the ass. Now you owe me a plate! <laughs> oh, what a... Oh, hold on a minute. There we go. There it is. Holy cow. I guess we'll do this. Uh, yeah, let's just put a mechanical here. Are you ready? Now you'll be a plate! <laughs> if I don't have it in my inventory, it didn't happen, right? There it is. Two of them! Yeah, to get that extra plate... Um, now, mind you, I did make all these things here. And I made one of these things here. Oh, dear. Are, are you ready for this? What do we need for this thing? Oh, we need concrete. <gasps> oh. Oh, I need the iron niobium alloy for the this. Oh, no. Well, at least I can make these. Concrete, niobium plate, and all that. So, um, how much do I have? Uh, two. Oh, it's two. Oh, I got 27 now. Okay. All right. Well, let's go... Man, I didn't realize that. Oh, you know what? Um, let's take a look at this thing. The iron niobium. Let's take a look real quick. Oh, that's easy. Okay, that's no problem. I can bring an iron plate train in here and we can make this stuff so easily. In fact, I have one of these that I made accidentally. Thinking I, I, uh, I thought I needed it for something and um, I made one. All right, let's head back to base. Oh, um, yeah, let's head back to base. All right. Are you ready for this? Oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. And? Oh, that's beautiful. There's no power on it yet, though, but... We got some. Okay, now. Oh, I do have iron plate on me now. Oh, yeah, I got to go and get that thing. So we'll run back down to the niobium plate. We'll bring an iron plate train in. And we'll start. We'll get our first fast inserter, maybe mini loader. Oh, fast filter. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, I'm back over here. And I need to put these tanks in. I forgot to do that. <laughs> Because the light oil back this up here. And there we go. Now we got that going. All right. So, I got my car here. I'll pick that up. And we got. Oh, my God. That's a lot. I better cap that. <laughs> now, I. Oh, I'm, I'm having a fuel issue. And that, this is just uh, the Hydra that I'm dealing with. So, I. I, um, I was thinking about the fuel issue. And, um, the pro, oh my god. Yeah, so I'm running off of gasoline and now uh, kerosene's backing up on me. I'm running the shale oil where I'm, basically this is landfill doing this right now. So there's not enough stone production consumption to keep the fuel going. And I don't want to rely on landfill to fuel the base, obviously. So I'm going to be looking for solutions to that where I can have a consistent fuel. However, we're going to need stone and shale oil as a part of that. And this is, you know, we get gasoline kerosene, which is a really good, you know, source for that. But, you know, having to consume something to get something is not really something I want in a production environment, you know. So, you know, combinators, things like that. The biggest problem, like I said, is that um, these are past these. Well, oh, I do have a solution where I'm going to run some of these off of one fuel type and some off another fuel type and keep them separate because you can't mix the fuels, you know, with pipes. You can with 
with the little barrels and things like that, you can have a, a sushi belt of all kinds of fuel. It doesn't matter. Um, it just, you know, puts in the fuel that it, it can, it has, when it has room in its, in, in the machine, when it has room in its inventory slot for a fuel canister, it just puts it in, consumes it, next fuel canister comes in, doesn't matter what it is, because it's, you know, one or two or five at a time, you know. With this one here, I could run um, canister trains, I could run just regular fuel trains on LTN, and have this sucker, um, you know, have two banks of these, and I don't know if I went over that in a prior episode, so I'm going to have a bank that runs off kerosene and a bank that runs off a gasoline and whatever, you know, but the consistency is the problem. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and plop this. Speaking of fuel. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Go right here. And oh, and look at that. It comes right up. Put you here. And there we go. Okay. Let's see, can I make more of these? No. Oh, I need concrete. So another thing I gotta do is um, my concrete is running out of sand. I have, oh my God, I have all this uh, refined concrete. I just let the thing run. I got a full case of refined concrete, a steel case, a full case, like it's like 4,600, and almost. And I'm like, oh crap, I don't have any concrete though. So I have to bring some stone over to it and make some concrete so I can start to do the power poles. One of the things off screen that I'm going to do, I'm really excited about doing this, is I'm going to be putting all these power poles in oh, and then rewiring everything. And that's going to take hours. Oh boy. But that's something I can do while I'm eating and watching YouTube videos. So yay for get other gamers that do YouTube stuff. Hey, you know what I could do? I can burn this up i think this has a fuel value doesn't it yeah it does let's burn this stuff up here e this has a fuel value yep oh uh, wow thirty-one thousand. does this have a fuel value i don't think it does oh it does oh no way it's a heat capacity oh um yeah it does okay what what do i have a lot of here of course this all right so i'm just gonna Run a pipe up here just to get rid of this stuff, you know, for now. Wait. Yeah. Kaboom! All right, let's get that in there. There we go. Pitch. And I'm just going to chuck some plate in here. Oh, yes! There we go. I think I'll put... Oh, this smoke is not fun. I might have to move this down here so I can see it. Yeah. Limit that to a row. Six. There we go. And then, uh, I'll do this. And, um, well, we'll do that. I'm going to need a lot. I have a feeling. Are you ready? Oh, what am I missing now? Oh, I don't have Vitor LA uh, for that. Okay, let's call that train over here. Alrighty. Vitor One, two, three. Look at that. Look at Yay! that. <laughs> Fast inserter. Now, what do we need for this? Oh, electronics. All right, what about these here? Oh, I need six of these damn things. I need three more of the iron. And then we make a mini loader. I got to do these on screen, man. I've been complaining about this since I started this playthrough here. All right, let's see about more. Three. Ten plate. Oh, it ate all my plate. Oh, wow, this thing is hungry. Fifteen? Holy cow. There's four. Jeez. Three iron niobium. Oh, wow. That is 45 iron plate for this silly thing. Well, I'm glad I made my resources really high. Oh. Oh, yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? 
<laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna put that one. Now, how about you? Six fast filters. Oh, well, yeah. We need more of these. Inner metallics. Oh, the electronics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to collect the materials for the fast filter, and we're going to end this sucker. Okay. <laughs> Five, six. First, we got to put this down. We got to give. We got to make it happy with some power, though. What? 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 Up here? Over here. There we go. Six slots. Oh yeah. Oh, we got We still got to do white. Oh, it's see, it's automatically whitelist. See that? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah. See, look, it defaults to blacklist. This defaults to whitelist. Okay. Now, the grand daddy of them all. Oh, yeah. And that has also five slots. Defaults to whitelist. There we go. Okay, so... <laughs> My mind is just re reeling right now. Oh, so I... Uh, yeah, this thing. Sad. Um, the... I am building up on the kerosene, so I'm going to have to you know, manage this stuff. So now I'm not worried about all this crap going on. You know, I'm okay with, you know, having them silly, do silly things. And now that we're at this stage, it's going to take some work to get things outposted and broken apart, you know? Um, so, I mean, obviously we're going to start with the, you know, we'll start with iron rebuilding. We'll do copper We'll keep going down the line, you know, and I'm tempted to focus on now I'm thinking about we have to have. Oh, one of the things that I, I'm kind of crying about is these electronics we need. I need these for the filters, filter inserters. And look at all that. Basically, it is a, you know, circuit board, you know, the simple circuit. So. I have to pull all this crud out of here, including tinned cable, glass. I mean, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items to make an electronics. Basically, it looks like a module there. In order to make the mini loader, filter mini loader. So, and, and, and just filter inserters. And I'm, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> how am I going to get all this um, together? So I'll have to think about this um, because, you know, the printed circuit board is a, a substrate tier one here was, a, you know, a quite, quite a project going way back. And, you know, everything else requires a lot of stuff. You know, tin, solder is not too bad, glass we have. Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know how I'm going to do this. When you get things like this, this is where LTN kind of really helps because it's an empty train. I, I'd have to have a dedicated train for every single one of these items on top of every single item that needs to build it. Um, so LTN could handle that pretty well. And, you know, I'll have to think of yard strategies too and how I'm going to uh, implement the yards. Uh, there'll probably have to be a block with a yard, trains with a yard in it, and then you have to have yards throughout. LTN will choose the yard that's best for uh, travel time, you know. Uh, it's programmed in there. I guess there's some amount of tiles and things like that that's in the in the code. So, um, yeah, I'll have to think about how I'm going to do this. If any, I, I, I mean, handcrafting this stuff just to you know, get through a few, like, I, I want to increase the throughput on some of this stuff, so I'll handcraft whatever I need, you know, kind of run around like a fool, um, I, oh, I did do this, though, uh, I put cases in here, so I can go and grab these items, and I put a case here, 55, that's it, oh, it's this thing, yeah, yeah, 
So I can come down here and grab a crap ton, make a ton of electronics, make a bunch of the um, mini loaders, and then I can start to update some things and get you know, a little faster throughput. Uh, we're, we are in a new era. Oh, let me bring this back home here. There we go. Um, very excited. Very excited. Oh my gosh, yeah, these two here. Who would have thought that these two items right here would be, you know, what episode are we on here? <laughs> episode 66. And I finally have something that I can actually sink my teeth into. Let's not forget the uh, glorious power poles that we can't see. Oh, poor guys are in the dark. So I'm going to work on the power poles. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then uh, as I'm working on that, I'll kind of think about, you know, like I'll run some, you know, maybe I'll do some mini loaders and, you know, as I'm going through here. Oh, boy. So we got a lot of work to do ahead of us here. I'll have to think about how the episodes are going to run from for the rebuild. But we have to get through the research. Speaking of which, let's queue some. Oh, we only got one. Let's queue up one more. Um, something that's going to be... Um, we got those. Oh, it's this one here. Oh, interesting. Coal bed methane extractor. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this thing. Nexlet plate. 100 iron plate. So this is a, extracts gases directly from underground coal deposits. Oh, interesting. Okay. Ooh. Coal bed gas and 2,500 water comes out. Oh, my God. Drill head. Well, I'm glad I had that on a network. So, oh my god, 2,500 pressurized water. So they're pumping water and oxygen in along with a drill head. So you drill down, you're pumping that stuff in, and then you're extracting the coal bed gla uh, gas. Now, that's a regenerative thing, so we can bring that water back around and have a buffer tank. So we just seed it with water, and it pressurizes it, and it pops that coal bed gas out. Interesting. That, that's, that'll be fun to do. Oh, and then, ooh, coal gas. Oh, well, I'll be damned. Filtration media, coal bed gas, and then we get coal gas. So now we, what we have here is the ability to generate coal gas without having to deal with uh, coal itself. I hope that I can find a resource out there because I don't know what that taps into. Um... Because underground coal deposits, uh, we'll have to see how that works. I'm very interested in that one. Uh, like I said, this mod is just ridiculous. We're going to be up to like 12,000 episodes by the time I get through all the, the tech and stuff. Holy cow. But yeah, I like to see stuff where we can get one item and not a million byproducts, you know. And then the byproducts, we can manage those by, you know, circuit network and priorities. And then we can vent stuff. Like if I'm building, the problem is that when you build, you tend to build with, you know, certain items. And then other things will starve out and other things will build up. And you need to be able to balance that out while you're building. And you don't want to have a million tanks on the ground. You want to keep a, uh, maintain a certain amount of, you know, backups. You know, you want to have, you know, enough on hand for, for stuff. You know, loading trains and everything and, and all that. But you got you want to be able to shut things off and not have them in race conditions. You don't want to run out of stuff. And you don't want to have stuff shut things down, you know, that are filled up. And that's the problem when you're... If this was running purely on production and I didn't have to build, it'd be different. You know, so I have to have fail safes and stuff in there, you know. That's what I found playing Factory on these overhaul mods. <sighs> all right. Well, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the hacking and the slashing will be ending hopefully soon. Um, you know, look at that. The tar's gone. What happened here now? Uh-oh. Something's going on. Oh, coal gas backed up? I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, the hacking and slashing, I'm hoping that we can start to end it. And the one of the tough things, uh, I'll say this too, one of the tough things about these overhaul mods is that you have to think about the plant the 
once you play, I because I haven't played Pinedons all the way through, nor have I, I didn't get past the second science pack. Um, in the <clears throat> before Pi uh, uh, Pinedons Alien Life was implemented, I mean this is we're talking three four years three years ago or so, yeah three years, maybe more. No, it was about three years ago I played, and then they added the Pi Alien Life and then this um, you know alternate energy stuff. So the um, uh, when I played the angels industry overhaul mod i played it like i i played it three times i had an original run beat it and then i did it again and i tried to improve and i played again and tried to improve again and you know each time you start to see what you need to do uh to you know tie loose ends up and that's kind of where the the mystery is going to be and it's the fun part is trying to figure out well what do i need to pull out of here you know, consolidation areas because we're going to get a lot of byproducts from things and we want to pull those byproducts to one area and have a hub where we, you know, handle those byproducts, trying to get them back into the system and, you know, balance things out that way. So there's going to be a byproduct shock absorber for a lot of things that we're going to be doing along the way. And the, and the you know, what I'm looking at is the challenge is going to be figuring out, well, okay, where, where am I going to have a byproduct balancing area you know that's kind of how i'm looking at it and that way we can get things to run smooth whoops look at those on there um right now yeah i got a fuel issue and seeing that coal gas thing i'm hoping that we can get other things that are like that oh yeah, i never really did this thing i i could set this up to eat some meat because <laughs> we're getting a lot of meat i'm just well in a sense i'm getting uh power i am getting power just not really good power see from this thing but the, if we feed the meat to the to these guys, yeah, I could get a nice little meat cycle going on with that. That'd be kind of fun to do. I don't know. Yeah, see, this right here, prime example. This sucker right here has been sitting here and sitting here and sitting here. And if you look at TSM, you know, we have stone is trying to go here. So if I send this on its merry way, get out of here, you know, I got to get a, a mini loader in here. Now, what I have, the problem is I have to push this back and this back, you know, well, these two here, I might do two mini, mini loader, a, a filter one and a non-filter one. Look at this. The, the flowers are waiting to get in here too. So this whole thing's shut down. Here's another example. This has got to be a complete redo though. You know, here we go. Wood is being, you know, shoved in here. 1600 wood. I got 369. We don't need all that wood here. There we go. Now crystal's coming. So, and this is the problem I'm having is by not having these filters. Filter, you know, the mini loader stuff. And then, you know, having crappy inserters. Now there is a stack inserter or a inserter bonus. So that's way, way away. I don't even see it on the radar here. You know, uh, here. So I don't know. I better shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> All right. I'm going to work on trying to, you know, work on that little net, uh, system there with the um, uh, the niobium plate and the Nio iron niobium whatever that is, the iron niobium alloy. So I'll work on that system, try and tighten it up a little bit. Maybe I'll try and get some trains to get some stuff out of there, make, you know, help out with a fuel system, you know, kind of supplement what we have, you know, because I don't want to throw it out. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We're in a new era. It's going to be rebuild era now. <laughs> I hope you're ready for it. Peace out.